Hey guys, good morning. It's James here. It's been a little while. And uh, I want to talk to you today about getting the spiritual edge. There are four areas that if you concentrate your awareness, it will give you more clarity and more purpose and will give you the edge, you know, the spiritual edge that will help you to cut through all the crap and get right down to the core. Those four things are represented in the word edge. The word edge represents ego, death, God and energy. So again, those four things are ego, death, God, and energy. And I'll define what each of those things mean. Ego is the self, it is the sum of all parts, and it is the authority. And sometimes it thinks it's the only self, but it is only the authority of the physical self. We can go into greater detail. Some whole books are written on ego, but essentially the ego is the part that is the player in this world. In this physical world is the part that everybody sees and it is the illusionary self ultimately because it is only a front for the spiritual self and that is the first part of the edge concentrate your awareness and be curious to know the ego to understand the ego and to not be taken over by the ego to actually take control of the ego because it makes a great slave but a poor master the next part is death you know we tend to forget that we live a temporary lifetime and when you really concentrate your awareness on what death actually means and the role that it plays in everyday affairs, you actually, again, you get rid of the petty crap and you start concentrating on the longer term and the life beyond this one, the energy, which we'll get to, that ultimately will live on and the energy that occupies your being. It is so much more important to concentrate on and be aware of the long term and death, nothing puts it into more perspective and better perspective than to think of death itself and to know that everybody here, everything that you can see around you in a span of less than 100 years, most of this will be gone. Everybody will be dead. So nothing cuts through the crap faster than to concentrate and be aware of death on a regular basis. And in this physical world, the one that we live in now, we hide death a lot and we don't see it. It hides out in hospitals and in cemeteries and in morgues. We don't really see it in everyday life, but to be aware of it regularly will put things into perspective on a regular basis. The next one is God. Now you can call this infinite intelligence, universal, universal source, whatever you will, but to be aware of a source behind it all. You know, even if you believe in evolution, there's got to be a starter to evolution. It didn't just be that there was some energy constantly trying to organize itself. There is some energy behind the energy that's trying to organize itself. So even if you're a believer of evolution, there's got to be a starter of some kind, a source, the infinite source, the eternal beginning. And to be aware of that consciously puts you in touch with it, to connect with it, uh, puts your awareness in touch with it, because ultimately the source of your own awareness is in touch with that God energy, that infinite source. So that's another thing that cuts through the crap faster than anything is to be aware of a God or to be in tune with it. And the last one is energy. So once you've got this awareness of your ego and death and God on a regular basis, the last one is the energy you put back into this life, the energy that occupies your being and is at the source of you and is at the source of your interactions and is at the source of what you occupy yourself with on a daily basis. And if you can bring your awareness to that energy and make a conscious effort to bring the best energy forward, to bring the best spirit forward, then you're really in touch with your ego, you're really in touch with what it means to die and the temporariness of life, and you're really in touch with God and the source of all things, and you will be able to express the best energy possible. People will feel it, it will radiate from you, and you will have the best experience of life possible, living the best version of yourself. Those four things give you the spiritual edge. I'd love to hear your comments and um, have you share your experiences after you start applying the spiritual edge to your own life. All right, have a great afternoon, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.